Good morning and happy May to all of our Atlas community and Pro Plus contractors. Super excited to see you guys out there and welcome to our May webinar. We are with the A team today. I'm excited not to be alone on our webinar. This is so exciting. And not only do we have some of the best, we get to um, have our first webinar with our new business development team. So with me, I have um, Stephanie Daniels, our Director of Business Development, Josh Vandusky, um, our Team Territory Lead for Business Development, and Josh Aker, who is our other Territory Lead on, on that side of the business. So you guys say what's up to them, put a hello in the chat. Many of you guys already know them because um, Steph, Josh, and Josh, all of you guys have been working with Atlas for multiple years. Stephanie, how long have you been with Atlas? 15 years. 15 years. Check her out on LinkedIn. I believe there was a celebratory post, which is absolutely amazing. 15 years and um, making so many great strides. Listen, if you can see me and hear me, that's great. We want you to be able to see and hear us. Um, put something in the chat. Let us know where you're tuning in from. We're going to be using the chat today to communicate with you primarily. Um, so any questions that you may have, any um, questions on this really, what I feel like is in a really important topic, Josh Vandusky, it's all about financing and how to really learn how to make those small adjustments to scale your business and have that big impact that many contractors are looking for. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we live in um, in a cashless society now, right? And, you know, cash is hard to, to come by for, for many consumers and financing is a fantastic opportunity to accommodate your customers and and, and really grow your business, right? You're, you're giving your customers options. I'm really excited um, to be working with uh, Sunlight and Gainer Partners. I think it's going to be really good for our contractors. Absolutely. And, you know, it's funny, we, you and I had a call last week where you were saying that your ice cream truck got financed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, credit cards are a form of financing, right? That's that's how we finance things. And you know, my big thing, you know, my big excuse to the kids, why couldn't they couldn't have ice cream is because I don't have any cash. But now they know the ice cream man takes credit cards. So, yep, our, my ice cream man takes financing. So if if the ice cream man will finance an ice cream cone, I think all contractors should uh, finance home improvement. Absolutely, very very well said. Um, well, um, I am going to um, get out of you all's hair. We have, um, as we stated, a really exciting power packed webinar today. I am sharing my screen here. So hopefully you all can see that. Um, super excited. So Steph, why don't you uh, kick us off with today's agenda? All right, so we're gonna get started with meeting um, our guest from Sunlight and Gainer Partners. And then we're gonna talk about where the market is headed. It's been a crazy year and a half and doesn't look to be getting any less crazy anytime soon. Um, then steps on how your business can respond. You guys have had um, in most areas a really strong year, but there are financial things that need to be dealt with and we're gonna learn some tips and tools. And then what the next steps are, where do we go from here? And then we'll answer all your questions and make sure that everybody is totally up to speed. Absolutely. And make sure you all put questions in the chat. We want to hear your questions. We'll work them in throughout this webinar to make sure that we are answering those. Financing is such a big, important topic. As, as Josh said, if we can finance an ice cream cone, then we definitely can finance a $12,000 roof. And that's just a conversation we need to be having on a regular basis. So um, next, let's talk about um, our guests. So what's up guys, good morning. Um, just gonna take a couple seconds here to in, uh, introduce our guests, um, guest panelists. So I'm uh, gonna start out with Kevin, who is the head of home improvement sales for Sunlight Financial. Um, he's got over 20 years of home improvement and finance experience. Um, his specialties include home improvement sales, face-to-face -face marketing, lead generation, and secured and unsecured home improvement lending. So awesome. um, happy to be here. And, yeah, Kevin, go ahead and say a couple words, man. Introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. Um, we're going to get into some of the details here. Um, but yeah, well, pleasure to be here. Awesome. 
Um, so we're gonna move on and introduce Seth here. You wanna hit that slide, Tiara? So Seth is the Director of Sales and Training for the Gainer Partners. Um, he is the, he has a JD, MBA, LLM, and a founder of Gainer Partners. He has an extensive history in the home improvement industry with thousands of contractors trained on how to increase their sales through financing. Seth, if you want to say a couple words and say hello to everybody. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Yeah, thanks for that introduction. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll, we'll jump into kind of what we do. Cool. So just to get things started, guys, we're going to hit you guys with the poll here here um you know something fun just to kick off the conversation i know seth confided to me earlier that he is a huge twilight fan so um we just want to check in with you guys and see uh which of these uh film trilogies are your favorites so get in there into the poll and let us know and who are my twilight people out there come on you know <laughs> let us know guys don't, <laughs> don't be ashamed don't be ashamed I'm secretly a huge Lord of the Rings fan, you know, but I get embarrassed about admitting that in public. So I just say Twilight, you know. Gotcha. Yep. So cool. We Looks have like no Star Wars Lord of the Rings people. Wow. Ahead of the poll, just to uh, start out. No, no other Twilight fans or Lord of the Rings fans for you, Seth. So. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, special type you know yeah all right well with that we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started here guys so um I'm, i think seth you're up first so i'll let you take over yeah yeah we showed the uh we click in here into the um <clears throat> animations here tiara on this one this is a um what we're talking about is where the market's headed right and kind of to understand that we're, we're going to look back a little bit at where the market's been. So if we just go back in time about 30 years or so, um, and this is something that everybody intuitively notices, but when you see the numbers, uh, it can be kind of shocking, right? So average home cost in 1989 was 151,000 and the average brand new car was about 14,300 and your median household income is about 57,000, excuse me, $57,000. If you fast forward to, uh, a couple of years ago, 2019, so you can jump forward on that uh, slide. Then you see that, uh, you know, the average home cost more than doubled, uh, average new car cost more than doubled, median household income went up by what, uh, 15, 20%. So this is the trajectory, right? The trajectory is that um, everything is getting more expensive and income is not keeping up. So a lot of the time when I talk to contractors about offering financing, you know, they'll say stuff like, well, you know, if you can't afford it, you shouldn't be buying it. You know, I only pay cash for everything. And, uh, you know, all my customers pay cash. All they need is this, right? And it's important to remember that, first of all, we don't live in our grandparents' generation. Like, we can blame whoever we want for this situation, but, like, this is the, this is the fact of the matter. The economy is changing. Financing is becoming more and more of a, a thing that everyone's going to have to embrace. And a perfect example of this is car dealerships, you know, 50 years ago, 30 years ago, you might have a car dealership that uh, it's like, well, you know, we don't offer financing uh, because of, you know, it's, it's a ripoff or it's a pain. Um, nowadays, a car dealership can't survive without offering financing. And if you got a big ticket item like a roof and, uh, you know, you want people to, to pay you cash and it's a, you know, $15,000 ticket, that's going to be pretty tough for most guys to swing. So can you go to that next one right there, uh, Tiara? Yeah, so average roof installs around $13,000, right? So some people, have, there's different figures on that, but we'll call it between 12 and 14,000, right? So that's more than 22% of their average pre-tax annual income. And for guys who have been in the industry for a long time, the contractors who are listening to this, you know that 10 years ago, the average roof replacement was $4,000. So in 10 years, you go from 4,000 to 13,000. What's going to happen in the next 10 years? It's a significant increase. So let's you jump to the next slide, Tiara. So costs, are they going up or down? So this is just in the last 12 months of construction costs. So almost everybody listening to this on the call is involved in sort of the construction trades. So you know, you don't even need a graph to tell you that lumber's gone through the roof, that metal prices are spiking. Everything, especially in the last six months, has just gotten crazy expensive. I mean, two by four, 
12 months ago it was two and a half bucks today it's like nine bucks so it's crazy everything's just going really high so this is just a a graph showing what's happening at the basic level. This is the commodity level, right? Lumber and plywood, 56% up. And that's going to go through two or three rounds of processing and whoever's selling it to you where they mark that up. That's why for us, it's not 56%. It's like 400% if you go buy a piece of two by four at Home Depot. Copper and brass, steel. So I won't go through all of it, but uh, you can see that everything has gone up pretty significantly. And it doesn't look like there's any signs that this is going to slow down. We want to jump to the uh, next slide here. So let's say you had a roof, uh, you know, a nicer roof in 2020, it was $18,000, right? If we just assume that prices will go up about 6% annually for the next 10 years, right? That's an assumption we're making based upon sort of what we've seen in the past. Obviously, we don't have the, the magical power to predict what's going to happen in the market, but let's just assume 6%, which is a pretty conservative estimate. If that goes up for the next 10 years, by 2030, that roof's going to be $32,000. So how many people are going to stroke you a check for $32,000 um, for that roof? I mean, how realistic is that? So the question is, if you're not offering financing today, or if financing is a small part of what you do, and you say, well, I have financing, and if they ask for it, then, I'll get, then I talk about it, but I don't really talk about it. If that's sort of your business model today, how many roofs will you be selling, you know, nine years from now? So, perfect. So when you're thinking about your consumers, we hear the old adage all the time, right? My customers, they're cash buyers. They only have cash. Nobody really wants to finance. The reality is if you look at the market, there's really two separate types of buyers here. So on one side, you have the cash consumer. And a couple of good examples here, if you can just click the, the slide there. Think about some of the purchases. Peloton's a great one. You know, go to the Peloton website. Pelotons are everywhere took off during the pandemic. If you go to their website, one of the things that they're advertising is their promotional financing. You know, nobody's buying these $2,500, $3,000 bikes as quickly as they are without some type of payment assistance. So what you see on the cash buyers, people often think, well, my customers pay cash. They, they don't need financing. Cash buyers want to do one thing. They want to hold on to their cash. So by using promotional offers like that, you can encourage those cash customers not only to pull the trigger on the sale, but in most cases, spend a little bit more because you're providing them with a little bit of a deferral to hang on to their cash. And then on the other side of the coin, you know, you think about the people who buy things on payment. And there's a whole host of examples here. You know, the car example, like Seth spoke about earlier, so as those prices go up, the reason that a lot of these manufacturers are able to sell these cars is because they're stretching out their terms, five, seven, 10 years in some cases on these auto loans. Why? Because it's all about the monthly payment. The ticket price doesn't matter as much on those automobiles. It's about getting that consumer a monthly payment that they're comfortable with. And you know, the biggest example that I talk to contractors about, if they still don't think their consumers are asking for financing, is look at what's in your hand. Look at your phone. How many people are buying $1,200 iPhones, right, on, you know, buying in on cash? It's a payment plan. That's part of your, um, you know, bill that you get every month. So these consumers are starving for finance options. Yeah, click the, the slide there. What we have to do and what's different, one more time. What's different here is that all of these different scenarios, these consumers know that this is available for them. Peloton puts it on their website. Apple, Android, put it everywhere. Manufacturers of cars, mortgages, they tell everybody, look, you can have financing. Your customers want it. They just don't know you have it. So it's up to you to let them know right out of the gate that you have finance options available. And that will help start that conversation. Yeah, so in terms of how you offer, I know that for a lot of uh, contractors, just thinking about financing gives them a headache, you know, it's the, I heard a guy say, it's the F word contractors don't want to say, you know, it's financing because for a number of reasons, A, it, it seems like it's just a pain to, to do it. And some guys feel like it's a rip off of the homeowner. The reality is it's not that hard. Technology's come a long way. Um, if you did financing 10 years ago and you quit because you're like, man, this is a royal pain in the butt. You don't have to worry about that anymore. You're not signing all these paper docs. It's literally a three-minute process, and we'll go over that. But it's a three-minute process, and you open an app. 
you open an app, answer five, six questions, hit submit, boom, you're in, right? So it's a lot easier than it used to be. And in terms of how you offer to cover the cash customer and the payment customer that Kevin's talking about, because you don't know who you're dealing with, right? When you go up to a house, you don't know if they've got money. You don't know if they're stretched thin. You don't know their financial situation, right? So rather than try and guess at it and discern it through your, you know, wisdom of the ages, just offer them both. So that's something like this. Hey, you know, Ms. Smith, I know you weren't planning on spending $13,000 today. Uh, we can do this for $159 a month, get everything taken care of. You can pay it off whenever you want, no prepayment penalties. Uh, or we got a promotion right now. It's 12 months, no interest. Which of those is going to fit your budget better? Very simple, right? You show up, you express empathy, because obviously nobody enjoys paying $13,000 or something. You give them a couple options, and you ask for the sale. So it doesn't have to be real complicated. It can be very simple, and you're not trying to rip anybody off. We're just giving people payment options. That's all. I love this because you're really helping to walk us through how simple it can be to actually make, make the ask, right? Taking the conversation and just saying, making it easier for that homeowner to digest options, right? When we have options, we feel like the power is back in our, in our court. And then also it gives us the ability to upgrade, right? So, so many, you know, so much practicality here in, in what you guys are sharing. Yeah. An important thing to remember is that you're not selling a roof, you're selling affordability, Yeah. right? People will buy the best they can afford, right? I mean, if you tell somebody, hey, it's $100 for my premium option, it's $100 for my low end option. There's not a person out there who's not going to say, uh, yeah, then I'll take the premium option for the same price. And you can do that with financing. You can say, hey, listen, the difference between my, my basic roof and the high-end one that's got the architectural shingle and it's got really beautiful aesthetics to it is about 20 bucks a month. So if you can afford an extra 20 bucks a month, I really recommend a higher-end option. You're going to be a lot happier with it in the long term. People like that, you know? You're doing them a service instead of selling them something. Now, this is what we're looking at right here is this is a selling tool that we customize for people. So one of the things that we do at Gainer is um, – we help you customize and build this to fit your business. So we have a one-on-one -on -one personal touch with a contractor. So if you sign up for this financing, let's say, you know, like, all right, I want to get started using financing. How do I get started? We, I, there's me and my, one of my partners, Rob, and we'll actually do personal trainings with you. So everyone's business is a little bit different. We don't come in and pretend like, hey, here's a one size fits all. It's, it's more collaborative. Hey, tell me how your business works. How do you currently do this? You know, if you're a one-man shop or if you have a, a small crew and you haven't offered financing, we're going to help you to begin offering financing um, to get you comfortable with it. If you're a mid-sized company and you're already offering some financing, but not uh, as much as you'd like, we'll help you optimize those uh, offerings so you can sell higher-end tickets so you can actually close, increase your close rate. And if you're a real big company, you're real com comfortable with financing, the goal is to improve your gross margin, right? We'll show you how to finance and not pay so much in contractor fees to help. You know, if we can add 2 to 4% to your gross margin, that can make a big difference. So... What this is, is this is a selling tool. And really the way it works is you show up to the house. And the first question that most people have for you is, whether they say it or not, is how much is it gonna cost me? You know, like what's gonna be the damage to my account? And so if you just give them a piece of paper and we customize this to you and say, hey, listen, I know you're wondering how much it's gonna cost you. Um, I'm not gonna know that till we get a full look at everything, but we can do this for 150 to 200 bucks a month. I can tell you that much right now. Why don't you take a look at this? And um, it'll answer most of the questions that you might have. And after I've taken a look at everything, we can come back, circle back. And if you have any other questions on it, then uh, we'll answer it then. And this is really going to go over their finance options, talking about aesthetics and why they should, you know, not make a long-term decision based on short-term financial constraints. So take them out of the moment of, oh, my gosh, my, I got to replace my roof. It's going to cost me tens of thousands of dollars. And instead say, okay, this is a long-term decision. Let's not just go straight to the knee-jerk reaction of picking the cheapest option. Okay, so it's just to help facilitate that conversation. Do you want to jump to the next one, Tiara? So this is another tool we can build for you. Both of these are totally optional tools. You don't have to do them, but these are selling tools to help you to make it a lot easier. And the way that this one works right here is this is actually an active um, spreadsheet. So even though we're looking at it in a static situation, you type in your price here and it'll automatically generate the monthly payment for you. So what's nice about this is if you're like most people, you, it's been a while since you had algebra and figuring out your payment on things isn't exactly uh, your forte. This takes all the guesswork out of it, right? You don't have to sit down and do a bunch of math problems in order to figure out what the payment is on that. 
you just type in whatever the price is going to be and boom, it's going to populate what the payment is. So this is customer facing and you say, hey, let me walk you through this, uh, Mr. Homeowner. You know, this is my value brand. We can do this. It includes these warranties. You can see that my payment on this would be this and it's at 9.99% for 10 years. On our designer, which would be our pinnacle brand, here's the increased value you're going to get out of those features. It's going to cost a little more. Your payment be, you know, $4 more a month. On our premium, you can see that we include all of these additional features and it does cost a little bit more, but $6 more a month. So you see the difference. If you can afford an extra $10 more a month, I really recommend staying away from the value brand and going for the premium store master shades. You're going to be a lot happier with them in the long term. It's a really beautiful shingle. It's a great design. Uh, it's going to be, you know, you'll be better off with it in the long term. So $10 difference. If you can afford that, that's what I'd recommend. And then you can see down at the bottom down there where it has the labor warranty and the ridge protectors and the solar attic fans. This is a real easy way to do some of those nice add-ons that can really bump up your ticket sale, the average ticket, um, in a very approachable way. Oh, so I get a labor warranty for uh, $13 a month on the premium unit. Yeah, yeah that, that's probably worth it. That's a pretty good value on a labor warranty. A solar attic fan for 13 bucks a month. Okay, so that takes me to 200 even, and let's go ahead and do it. So if you're talking about those upsells, those opportunities to improve the value along the way, when they see this, most of the time they'll sell themselves on it. Oh, so this is that attic fan you were talking about, and that's only $13 a month, right? Okay, all right, let's go ahead and put that in there. And Seth, that's I just really want to mention. Yeah, yeah, Seth, yeah, I want to mention that you know, for our Pro Plus contractors, that this tool is available for free for you to use. Um, you know, dynamic pricing is 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 a great way for our contractors to really get to that last conversation to have these pre-built um, pricing with terms um, to really you know present that as a final package to the homeowner is a great thing. So this is available for all our Pro Plus contractors um, to use for free. So how would they get this, Josh, to be able to use it? Is this downloadable and then they customize it? Is it on a spreadsheet? Um, so um, this is a downloadable um, template that would they'd be able to, um, you know, put on a, uh, either a tablet or an iPad. Um, it's, 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 it's available for, it will be available for download um, and they can use this, um, their reps can use this in the house and put together a proposal, um, put, their, put their logo in there and their terms and their pricing. Yeah, so, so, you know, if you're listening on this call, this is, you know, you're trying to get into the financing game or you're already into the financing game and you're trying to figure out an easy way to tell the story, this is beautiful, right? This actually, you just slide this on the table and let it sit there until it's time to have the financing conversation and literally show them, yep. right? Show the homeowner at that moment. Like, I love this because it, it really makes that, again, that conversation so relatable. And then, as you said, Seth, let the homeowner sell themselves, upgrade themselves and, you know, and through this chart. Oh, this is great. Yeah. This, this you know, having done this for quite a while too, this solves a major problem when business owners decide, hey, I'm going to change my business. I'm going to start offering finance options. Yeah. You then have the issue of adoption amongst the sales team. Mm -hmm. This is a simple tool to give to them to bridge the gap between what you're selling and your process and the finance process that we're going to cover. This is just a really simple tool to get them engaged and get them to start using it. I love this. It's a, it's a great point, Kevin, because I think as much as a lot of our contractors have to be sold on financing, there's a probably an even larger group of contractors that really just need the tools to equip their sales team to sell financing, right? To be able to have and tell that story. So this having tools like this, the spreadsheet before it is perfect to, to help um, and then as the leader, leader and owner of the business, you're just establishing what that pricing looks like and then letting your guys run with it. So, Yeah, a, a confused mind says no, right? So yeah. if you can put it all right in front of them, people will buy. Yeah. So <clears throat> this is just an example because when we talk about financing, inevitably you start talking about fees, right? Because people are like, well, are there any fees on this? What do I pay for this, right? So. Just clarify that it costs nothing to get enrolled in financing. Um, you cost nothing if you don't use it. Um, some of the loans have fees. And the way to think about this is you can buy down the rate, right? So if you want to offer a 9.99% loan to your homeowner, that's not going to have any fees. 
you can pick a 9.99% loan for 5, 7, 10, 12 years, 15 years right now has no fees during the promotional period. Um, but if you want to buy that rate down to, let's say, 6.99%, so you can offer a 6.99% loan, then that, that loan might have a, a 6% fee on it, right? So think of it just like a credit card fee. So when we talk about fees, the question is like, well, how am I supposed to build that in? Am I going to remember which loan I'm offering and build in that many fees? No, you're not going to do that, right? At least most people who, who I've seen who are successful with this don't do it. They just flat rate this. They're going to add in one overhead rate to cover all their financing fees. It keeps it super simple. And if it's simple, it works. And if it's complicated, someone's going to screw it up, right? That's just my experience. So in this situation, let's say your first customer takes you up on financing. And there's a 7% fee associated with that loan. And then the second customer writes you a check. So there's no fees. And then the third one swipes a credit card. So you got 10% in fees spread out over three customers. So your average cost of financing is 3.33% there. So if you were to add 5% to every job to cover your credit cards and your overhead for financing, you'd be covered. You'd have a cushion. And then if Jenny comes along and says, well, I'm paying cash, do I get a discount on that? Now you can say yes, because you actually have a little bit of cushion built in there. If you don't have the cushion, then the answer to that question is no unless you want to eat it in your margin. If Jenny's real savvy, she might just say, well, I'm going to go get other bids. So I'm paying cash. You might lose that job. So if you can build 5% in upfront, have the cushion, cover your financing. Don't worry about your fees down the road, right? It's going to all come out in the wash in your average cost of financing. So if we could jump to the next one. Yeah, <clears throat> so just a quick overview now that we've learned the importance of offering it in some tools on how to integrate it into your sales system. So we cover all projects, basically $2,500 to $100,000. These are all unsecured. Single family homes, condos, second, third homes, investment properties, uh, mobile home, manufactured properties. We can do all of that. Only one person on our loan has to be associated with that property. The co-app can be anybody. So it gives you a little bit of flexibility. And this is a, a really quick process. Seth touched upon it earlier. The entire thing is paperless. So you're not gonna have to drag out any uh, credit application, sales slips, paperwork like that. Just arm your team with a phone or a computer and they can do this all on the app or online. You submit it, you get an instant credit decision, uh, and then you have immediate access to sign those loan documents either in person or via email with the customer. So these are transactions that are designed at the point of sale, seven, 10 minutes max. You can go from approval to having everything wrapped up for this job and move on and sell the next one. We also give you a little bit of a cushion in what we call max approvals. So in the roofing industry, there's quite a bit of change that can happen. You sell a job on one day uh, for 20 grand. And then a couple weeks later, once you start getting into the project, you realize that there's more wood rot. There's some unforeseen materials that you couldn't really price out when you initially saw the job. So what ends up happening? The price changes, right? So we give you the flexibility to adjust for that. So if you sold it on day one for $20,000 and then you have to add in $2,500 a week or two later, you can easily do that with our system all through our portal. And you'll know what that customer's max approval is. We approve it for 20, and then we'll show you you're also eligible for up to 25 or 30 or whatever the number is. So it makes life easy to make those changes. And then it also makes it easier to upsell while you're sitting with the consumer because you know they have additional flexibility. So if you wanted to add gutters or maybe there's some facial work or painting or whatever else your company might do, it gives you the opportunity to really do the job right and give the consumer what they want. And then we kind of put a bow on this with a pretty slick funding process. You can track all of your loans in real time. You can see exactly what's going on and you have full autonomy to order up your payments when you're ready. So you don't have to keep calling sunlight. You don't have to interact with a whole bunch of people. The portal's in real time, you track your money. Once that job is completed, we're gonna fund that within 24 hours and we're not gonna ding you. There's no hidden fees here. There's no hidden credit card processing fees. There's no hidden ACH fees. You know, this is all straightforward pricing. So when we say no dealer fee, it truly is no dealer fee. There's no uh, activation fee for the consumer. There is no 
origination fee buried into the loan for the consumer. So, you know, read the fine print when you're talking to finance companies about true no cost loans. A lot of them just kind of defer that in other areas. So we're upfront about that. And then to the next slide, talk about how we approve customers. So it's in our best interest. We want to approve as many customers as we can. So the way we do that is in an optimized credit strategy. So there's a couple points to this, but to keep it pretty basic, we're using a newer version of, of, of Experian that really takes out some of the nebulous items that other credit bureaus might ding consumers for. So when we use this tool, we find that we're, we're about 30 to 40 FICA points higher than a traditional bureau, which means you're going to get more approvals. Okay, so that's kind of how we designed our, our strategy to help you out. We also take household income. We have what's not on this slide, and I'm going to mention it because it's really important. We have an optimized strategy when we have two different borrowers. So if you have a primary and a secondary borrower, and for whatever reason, one of those borrowers is keeping the application from being approved, maybe it's credit, maybe it's debt ratios, what have you, our system will automatically adjust for that and tell you, hey, we can approve this on this borrower alone. So those are the little things that we do that help you squeeze out more approvals and gives us an advantage over a lot of the competition in the marketplace today. All right, so um, this is the rate sheet. So for people who've seen rate sheets, this uh, will look familiar. Uh, if you have not seen a rate sheet, this is essentially a list of all the loans that you can offer to your customer. Okay, so don't be overwhelmed. A lot of time when, when guys are just starting to get into financing, um, they look at this like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of information. It's like, ignore it. You're gonna use two or three of these loans and that's pretty much it, okay? so. No one uses 40 loans. Everyone picks two or three they like, and it gets real simple. You get really used to it. So if you look at the top where it says cash buyers, um, this is the people who have the money. who don't want to write you that big check because, hey, just because I have $25,000 in my savings account doesn't mean I want to drain it all on one big ticket item. I'd much rather pay for this over the next year or so. So if you look at that top loan where it says 12 months, deferred interest, fixed APR 2199 for 60 months, what this is, is this is 0% for 12 months with payments. So where it says 2199, that's what it turns into if they don't pay it off in the first year. So I would tell guys, look, this is a terrible loan if you can't pay it off in the first year. This is for people who just want some flexibility, who want to pay it off in the first year. Uh, that's a really popular loan right there. That's the 12 months no interest we talked about earlier. And your fee, if you look over into the, where it says dealer fee, is 4.75%. So for simple math, that was a $10,000 job. When you got paid from the bank, there'd be 475 bucks missing, just like a credit card fee, right? So that's why I said you build in the 5% and then you don't have anything missing. You don't eat anything out of your margins. So that's a really popular loan. If you jump down to the bottom where it says standard installment loans, okay? I'm gonna focus on the 9.99% loans because that's really where people, uh, these are awesome loans because they don't cost you anything, right? Nothing to build in. Um, you can do a 9.99% loan for 15 years at no cost, and that's a really attractive payment. So it's, um, these are super great loans, um, and it helps you get a really low monthly payment for the homeowner. It costs you nothing. Right above that, you can see are the 6.99% loans that have a pre pretty reasonable contractor fee. So typically, people will select a 9.99% a loans for your low-end jobs, and then maybe you offer a 6.99% interest rate for your higher-end jobs. And that gives the homeowner a reason to go for that higher-end roof because, hey, I'm also going to get a better interest rate on this thing. So it's just one more way to spruce up the offering. Um, and then right in the middle, you can see there's a hybrid loan for both. And this is these are pretty cool because if you look at the, um, let's say, for three months deferred interest, no payment, what, the way this works is you get three months with no interest and no payments. Okay, at the end of the three months, it's going to go to the 10 years for 6.99%. So this lets the homeowner kick the can down the road three, four months without worrying about everything. And then their payment starts at a pretty low reasonable monthly payment. And at 6% fee, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's really not a bad loan right there. 
So people like that because, hey, what if I told, would it help if your payments didn't start for until, you know, July or so, July or August? Yeah, that would help. All right, let's get you qualified for this loan. All right, so this is, this, these are the options that you have, and we'll customize these to whatever you want, right? Like you don't have to memorize everything out of this one webinar. When you get signed up, we're going to do a training with you, answer any questions you have and say, here's the ones I recommend for your business. Because everybody's business is a little bit different, and you know your business better than anybody. So we kind of rely on your expertise to select the loans that's best for your business. Yeah, there's certainly a lot to unpack here. And this rate sheet can be daunting when people see it. And, you know, it's again, it, it, if it's confusing, they're not going to use it. That's really the core of our partnership with the team at Gainer is to be able to come in and help you navigate this, help you figure out how to start it, maybe ease into it, and then slowly add additional programs as you get comfortable. But that's the other key that's missing with a lot of the programs out there is somebody to truly help you dissect this, figure out what your business needs, reduce it to the ridiculous, and make it really simple for your team to go out and offer to your customers. And that's what the folks at Gainer do a really good job at. So just to break that down, because I think what you're saying is so different than, as you said, Kevin, a lot of what we see in financing and with contractors and partnerships a lot of times a contractor has to digest all that's on this spreadsheet by themselves and try to figure it out, right? But you all, Sunlight is partnered with a, a marketing company that actually helps the contractors not only digest what's here, but have the essential tools they need to scale their business. And I think, you know, that is so palatable because right now everybody has so much going on. You know, we talked about how busy the market has been. This is just a great opportunity. If, if you're interested in selling financing, go on the portal. We'll talk about how to do that in a minute, but go and sign up and then they're actually going to give you Seth on a call to talk about your specific business and how he can help. That's it, right? It's yeah. literally that. Yeah. yeah. And then we so have the, the wrap me up in a bow and yeah, just <laughs> then, <to> the house. <laughs> then we've got the support team over at Sunlight, where our account management, our relationship management, our inside sales team will carry you through once you've learned how to do it, so that you're going to have a full-fledged support team. Our goal between Gainer and Sunlight is pretty simple: to have a contractor call us and say, "You know what? You can stop calling me. I got it." That's the kind of service and that's the kind of attention we pay to our contractors. And it's not just the big folks. This is all contractors, whether you're a small roofer getting started, somebody in the middle of a business cycle ramping up or a large contractor, we treat everybody the same. I, I just want to, I, I just want to add because, you know, this really, you know, um, our, our pro plus contractors understand this uh, just go online and, and give sunlight a, a Google search and check out their reviews. Um, they're, I would say probably from my experience, the highest rated financing company out there uh, when it comes to consumers and, um, you know, uh, dealers. So, you know, they're highly, highly, highly rated by your peers and, and your competitors and, and, and your customers. So, you know, and that stands really, you know, true to what, you know, they, what you offer your customers an extension of your business. So you want to make sure that the company you're partnered with is really going to take care of your customers and their reputation just really just speaks for itself. So I just want to add that in there. Yeah. So if we could, if we go to the next, so if you have any other doubts, so if, if none of the tools or, or the topics we've talked about have been engaging enough for your sales reps to start offering financing, we put a cherry on top will basically reward them for using the finance program. So this is an industry exclusive. This is a system that automatically tracks every deal that your reps fund through Sunlight, and it assigns a point value based on the dollar amounts that they sell. And then we have different levels that you can achieve that multiply the points to 5, 10x. It Something is very much like your Hilton... Like I'm sorry, I was just getting excited again. So just forgive me. I, <laughs> this feels so much like what we have, right, Steph and Josh? I mean, we have silver, gold, platinum statuses already with our contractors. So 
you know, Kevin, our contractors are already used to rewards and, you know, loyalty points. Guys, this, this feels a lot like what you're already seeing. We, and, and this is all automatically tracked through the mobile app. It gives you leaderboards. So if you want to have competition, it is literally like an American Airlines or Hilton Honors where you log in, you see exactly how many points you have, where your status is, and then how you can redeem them. Absolutely. We had a rep use this last year to get Super Bowl tickets. So this is beyond just toasters and iPads. There's some significant stuff in here. And right. it's a, a really good way to help your, your encourage your team. So how does that work? You know, I mean, when the rep signs, I mean, if the master account holder signs up for financing under the company, you're actually setting up additional accounts for their sales people and then incentivizing them as well as the master account holder? The individual sales reps. So when a company signs up, if they've opted to offer the rewards program, yes. then once they add a user to the platform, they will be able to sign up for rewards. And then once they're signed up, there's not much else that they need to do. We track everything on the back end for them. So this is on the individual sales rep level. The company level would be more where they would redeem on the Atlas side. I love it. So, so it's really incentivizing your team of three sales guys, your team of five, your team of seven sales guys to actually say, hey, I'm giving you not only the tools to turn that paper around and say, here's your scaled rewards, but also when you close a deal, now go ahead and buy yourself a new fridge or buy yourself a new bike or just hell, go, go to the Super Bowl, right? Um, this is a win-win for your entire team. And then you get to sit back as a, the company owner and actually enjoy pro plus levels similar to what you're already seeing in here. And, you know, let's not kid ourselves margin, right? When you have financing, you have options and it increases the margin. And then, uh, Seth, you want to touch upon the credit card on the next slide? Yeah. Do you want to jump to the uh, next slide here? So this is completely optional, but pretty awesome, I think. Uh, everybody knows that people use credit cards like crazy. And um, the fees associated with credit cards are basically a dead weight loss, right? It's not like you get more out of a credit card that charges you 4% fee than one that charges you a 2% fee. Um, you're just, you know, accepting a credit card. So if you're, you can reduce your fees, that's always a good thing. So uh, for contractors who get enrolled, if you do at least one job a month in financing, so if you finance one job a month, you're going to qualify to run all of your credit card transactions through the same portal at 1.99%. So, you know, if you've negotiated real hard and found something awesome, you're paying, you know, 2, 2.15%, maybe it's not worth it. But a lot of guys I know when I talk to them, uh, I should say a lot of contractors, are paying three and a half percent, you know, three, seven, five, something like that. We talked to a real big um, contractor about a month or so ago, and he was paying like three, seven, five. He figured out his average, you know, credit card costs and he switched over and he said he saved something like $2,100 or $2,600. I mean, it, it adds up. So again, totally optional, but it's a great option to have if you're paying a lot of fees, if you finance at least one job a month, you can get 199 on everything. And this is all one touch through the mobile app. You can do your credit card processing. Exactly. You can do all of uh, your loans. So it makes it easy to have all your payments in one central location. I'm going to take the screen here. And if you can let me share, I'm going to run through the demo here. If anybody has any questions while we're while we're doing this. All right. So just to roll through this really quickly, can you guys see my, my, my demo screen here? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So in the interest of time, we'll just go through this real quickly. And if anybody on this call wants to dive deeper into this, we'll have some contact information. So let's just talk about the credit app first. So the credit app, you can do this online or mobile. I happen to be showing the online version. Uh, quick note here. We also take Spanish speaking consumers. So you can do this app in English or you can do 
in, in Spanish. So it accommodates both, both types of borrowers there. So it's just the general information, first name, last name, email. Then you go through, select your loan options. We have a menu here that is completely customizable based off of what you discuss with Gainer. If you want two programs or 10 programs, you'll have the flexibility to show only what you want to your reps here. You input the loan amount, uh, select the project type. And then from here, if you're sitting with the customer, you can continue in person. If it's a virtual sale or an email sale or something that you've done uh, after the fact, you can send them the application via email. Um, and all this is going to do is collect the, the private information that we need to run the app. Date of birth, social security, income, employer, all of that good stuff. There's some legal language for the consumers to read through. And then there's also an option for the consumer to opt in for Sunlight's text messaging. We get a lot of our consumers and what helps us speed a lot of these applications through from point of sale to funding is our ability to communicate with the customers via text. Customers are a lot quicker to respond to a text than an email and certainly than a phone call. So this allows us to text that consumer should we need any communication with them. And you submit it, it'll take about maybe 25 to 30 seconds. We'll render a decision right here. And as I mentioned earlier, this will express not only the amount that you requested, but it'll also give you that max approval giving you the opportunity to upsell or make changes down the road. So you'll know that right at the point of sale, as will the customer. And then from there, all you got to do is sign the loan documents. It's a pretty simple process. This is when you would hand the device to the consumer, or you can do this via email. They validate who they are, and it's literally four clicks to the customer to sign the loan documents. And that's it. Very simple. There's a lot more functionality. We have some payment calculators. Uh, there's a really great prequal tool that you can use. So if you have interest in those, feel free to contact us and, and we'll show you some more information on the demo. Okay, so this is the, um, how do you get started, right? So if you're a contractor listening and you're like, Hey, uh, this all sounds great and all, but now what, right? So next step is going to be go to the Atlas Pro portal and there's an enrollment link where it says Sunlight Financial right there. You're just going to click on that and it's a one page enrollment. It's all online. You're not going to have to print anything out or do wet signatures or anything like that. Um, you literally just type your information in there. You'll upload a few docs proving your business legally, right? Like a business license and insurance and stuff like that. Um, upload it. And it's typically about five to seven days. You can see in the upper right-hand corner right there. If you just want to learn more, you can put in some basic information. But in the upper right-hand corner right there, it says enroll now. Um, you click on that, put in your information, hit submit. And it'll, it'll take us five, seven days to process you on the back end. And then you'll get activated. You'll be ready to start offering financing. And typically at that point, we will set up a training with you, with your office. If you're a larger contractor, we'll train. You know, there's probably be two or three different trainings, right? Like if you have an office staff who needs some training or people who are going to be collecting the money, earning the accounting, uh, as opposed to your sales reps, and we'll treat, teach them how to use it as well. So if you're a smaller office, I'll probably just do one training uh, where we'll walk you through how to do everything and just customize it to you. So that's as simple as it is. You go to the Atlas Pro portal, click on the sunlight, hit enroll now, and uh, one page enrollment, very simple. It usually takes about 15, 20 minutes. People fill it out. So and really, at the end of the day here, live in the portal go ahead, now. Sarah. I was just going to add in the pages live now in the portal. So if you're interested in signing up, um, definitely log in and hit that sunlight button so that you can fill it out. Yeah, my, my experience is that, um, so if you're watching this webinar, you probably have uh, declined like five phone calls in the time that you've been watching the webinar. And as soon as this webinar gets over, you're going to have a mountain of work that has to get done. And it's easy to let the expedient, urgent stuff sort of edge out the things that are really going to help your business to grow. So I would say take a pause after the webinar gets over, take 15 minutes, fill out the enrollment, 
Don't delay the things that are going to help your business in the long term that are actual structural changes to your business that will help you grow and collect more margin in favor of, you know, one of your employees calling you who's upset about something or some uh, customer calling with an urgent need. They can wait another 15, 20 minutes because this is more important and this is going to actually change the way your business goes. So it's real easy to let the urgent matters of people calling and pressing you all the time to take over the stuff that you need to do to change your business. But this is an invitation and permission to not do that, to just put it off for another 15, 20 minutes, do the thing you know is going to help your business in the long term, just get enrolled in financing. Permission. You know, you don't have to remember everything from the webinar. <laughs> permission to not let the tyranny of the urgent overwhelm everything <laughs> after watching an hour long webinar, right? Just yes. You have the info. Guys, what questions do you have? We are watching in the chat. Lot, um, I know many of you guys have been listening and engaged with um, the program. Any questions that have come to mind about um, the program, how it works, what the benefits are, questions about the rewards, um, where to get enrolled at? I'll say one more thing while we wait for some questions to come in, if we're going to get some questions, which is that um, this is my cell phone number and my email, right? So, and this is Rob, my partner's cell phone number and email. So every, every contractor we train, I give them my cell phone number uh, because the worst thing that can happen to a business owner is they go to make a change in their business and they're like, oh, this sounds great. They go to make some changes. And they forget something that, the, that they were told, right? Hey, uh, I forget how this works. And then you can't get a hold of anybody, right? Who am I supposed to call? They call some standard phone number. They get stuck in a phone tree for 30 minutes waiting to see who's going to actually know what they're talking about. We don't do that, right? Like if you sign up for this program, you have direct access to us because I know how frustrating it is to run a business and not be able to solve your problems when you want them solved. Right. It's real. If, you, if that happens, it's going to fester. And within a couple of days, you're going to be like, forget it. I'm not doing this crap. It's not worth it. So yeah. that's my cell number. That's my email. We're very responsive. You can't get a hold of me. You'll get a hold of Rob. And Rob's been doing this a very long time. We have a lot of experience. So we're here to help you. This is not one of those. Hey, let's just shovel somebody in the door. And uh, once they get there, whatever. Right. Like you come in, you're going to get taken care of. There will be support. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, with um, COVID, you are also doing virtual trainings with the sales teams Correct. in terms of onboarding them? Yeah. Typically, what we'll do is we'll set up, let's say somebody gets enrolled, right? You know, so you're watching this uh, video. What, what's going to happen after you go to the Atlas uh, Pro portal and you get enrolled? You're going to get some phone calls from Sunlight. They're going to start reaching out. If there's any information missing, we'll collect that information, make sure everything's good to go. Um, then we'll reach out and get you trained. And what that looks like is usually a 30 to 60 minute Zoom training with whoever in your office you think will be involved with financing in some way. If they're going to touch it in some way, just put them in the Zoom training. It doesn't hurt anything. It's going to take them 30 to 60 minutes. And we're going to answer all the questions, get you comfortable with it, uh, design any custom tools if you're interested in getting those set up, um, and just kind of walk you through. We'll do some role playing, uh, just show you how to offer the financing and get you comfortable with it. Right. And then usually when someone goes out and does it once or twice, once you've done this once or twice, it's like riding a bike. Right. By the time they've done it two, three times, they're like, oh, OK, I get it. I don't need to call you anymore. This is really simple. And in fact, I can't tell you how many times you guys have called me and been like, hey, uh, I actually feel pretty silly that I didn't do this earlier because I was all worried it was going to be hard. And then now that I've done it a couple of times, I mean, my 10 year old kid could do this. So. I shouldn't have been worried. It's like, yeah, it's, it is really, it's really simple, right? It's a little daunting up front, but once you kind of overcome that initial hurdle, it's like, okay, I get it. I don't need help anymore. So. Yeah. yeah. I love the way Kevin put it earlier. You know, our goal is to get you to say, stop calling me right <laughs> until then <laughs> on your team, helping you to grow. Steph, Josh Vandusky, Josh Aker, any other thoughts before we wrap up? Well, I have to say the quote of the day officially is that financing is the F word that roofers don't like. That is, <laughs> okay, I'm going to be using that a lot moving forward, okay? Um, I would also say I really love how you guys have addressed so many of the pain points to make financing easy, profitable, 
and really nice for the guys to offer from a marketing sense because we'll never know how many jobs our contractors didn't write because of affordability. They'll never know because one thing is true. If somebody needs a roof, but they're broke, they typically don't want to talk about how broke they are. Mm -hmm. So you'll never know what you didn't write because of money and making financing this easy and touchable is really awesome. Appreciate you guys a lot. Yeah, I just Thank want you. to add too, you know, you know, if you, um, you know, think of your favorite, you know, big box retailer out there and imagine one day they just decided, you know, no more financing, right? We, we don't, we're a cash only business. Imagine the consumer perception of, of what that kind of business is. So I, I think from a, uh, a, 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 like a competitive standpoint and a credibility standpoint for a contract is, you know, offering financing is free, right? You, it doesn't cost you anything to sign up and become a financing partner, right? So from a credibility standpoint point to offer these great promotional offers that you could, it is another marketing opportunity too, right? 36 months, no interest, no payment, throw it on social, throw it on Facebook, throw it on Insta. Those are huge, you know, free opportunities to really grow your business and consumer perception is everything. And, you know, I just, you guys did a, a fantastic job today and I, I really look far, forward to this partnership with you guys. I, I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. I just want to say thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Seth. Great job, guys. Um, you know, one of the biggest pain points I think that we hear from mine and Josh's standpoint is, you know, we get signed up with these financing companies and then we can't get in touch with anybody if we have an issue. So I think these guys have solved one of the major hurdles that, that we run into with financing and any partnership for that matter. So um, I, I urge all you guys to take advantage, reach out to these guys. If you need help, reach out to myself and Josh Van Dusky. We can route you to, through the proper channels as well. So, um, you know, definitely take advantage of this and, uh, you know, you guys are going to see some great results. Awesome. Well, yeah. with that, guys, um, thank you again. I know we've all said it twice, but, you know, really good content here. Thanks for sharing this information, Kevin and Seth. And guys, uh, be sure you reach out to them. Um, cell phone numbers are on deck, right? Here it is. Um, take a screenshot. <laughs> we will be sending out um, as a follow up to this webinar. We'll send this um, webinar out to all of our attendees today. And take a survey, give us some feedback. Let us know how else we can help you and what other topics are burning for that you need some additional content on. We're happy to serve you guys in that way. And until then, keep living, roofing, and playing together, guys. Have a great week, and we'll see you next month. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much. Yes. Thanks, guys.